In today's Cyberpunk 2077 video, I'll be showing you where to get Jackie's iconic pistols. Now, technically, you can actually get three of this pistol, even if you miss it the first time. And once you have it, you can actually place one of them in your apartment weapon room as well as a sort of collectible item. The weapon also obviously has an iconic effect too that we'll look at during this video. We'll also be getting Jackie's iconic bike as well. But most importantly, it is possible to miss Jackie's iconic pistols. However, it is also currently possible to still get them if you miss them. So bear with me while I explain exactly how this works. You see, technically it's possible to get three versions of Jackie's iconic pistol, which is rather strange. Jackie himself uses two of the pistol and they look damn beautiful with this golden gun kind of vintage look. So to get Jackie's pistols, you're going to need to have finished the heist prologue mission. Big spoilers coming up, so please click away if you haven't done it yet. All I can say is save often. So after you pull into the hotel to meet Dexter Deshawn after the heist mission, Delaman Cab will give you a choice of where to send Jackie's body. It is very important that you choose to send Jackie's body to his family's, since that option then activates a secret side quest called Heroes. If you say the first option, just wait here for me, I believe I did this in my first playthrough and the Delaman Cab ends up taking Jackie's body to his family anyway since you die, so it just defaults to that choice. But the third option to take him to Vic Vector's clinic, you should definitely not choose. Since if you do choose this option, later on, when you talk to Vic, he will tell you that Arasaka came and raided his clinic and stole Jackie's body away. This is pretty accurate since they assume Jackie still has the relic and they actually end up using Soul Killer on him and you never see Jackie again. Now if you do end up choosing Vic's clinic, don't worry, you will still be able to obtain Jackie's iconic pistol but I'll explain how exactly in a moment. So let's say you made the correct choice and you sent Jackie to his family. After you wake up, after about five minutes or so, you will get a call from Mama Wells. Make sure that you call her back. If you haven't done so yet, just open your phone and give Mama Wells a call. She'll actually invite you along to Jackie's funeral, which takes place in Haywood. You start the game in Watson, but just in the south over here on the map, you will find Haywood, still in Night City. Now in the southeast of Haywood, just over here, right near this sort of river that runs through the city, you'll find there's a bridge just here as like a reference point and a big apartment building. And then just to the southwest of that, you'll find the Coyote Bar. Now you can see the El Coyote Kojo fast travel point just here at the crossroads and I'm at the crossroads right now as you guys can see and then if you turn around you will find the El Coyote Kojo bar just here. This is the entrance. This is where you need to come. Now if you have already done the quest heroes don't worry just come back to this exact same location and just come inside and carry on following the video because I'll explain what to do. But once you do arrive, you will find Mama Wells making funeral preparations for Jackie. And then you can just go ahead and talk to her and you can finish off this quest. Which is a lovely scene where you'll say some nice words about Jackie and also look at his stuff. During the funeral, you'll also speak to her and she will offer you Jackie's bike keys. Make sure that you say yes, otherwise you cannot get Jackie's bike. Alternatively, if you sent Jackie's body to Vic's clinic, you'll instead get a call from Mama Wells and she will send you his bike keys. So Jackie's bike cannot be missed unless you decline the offer. So after the funeral is finished, make sure you exit the bar and then what you're going to do is just cross the road and go ahead and wait for 24 hours and then confirm. And now obviously if you miss Jackie's iconic pistols the first time you can just come back here. What the hell? Bruh. And just come on inside and right at the back where the uh, funeral was, you will find both of these iconic pistols right next to each other. La Chingona Dorada. Sorry if I just butchered that with my dyslexic language pronunciation. And another one of them. So far, you will now have two of Jackie's iconic pistols. We can upgrade them to legendary quality in just a moment to have a closer look at their stats, but right now you can see the iconic effect reduces reload time and adds an extra mod slot, higher chance to apply burn and stun. 
So essentially, if you have a closer look at the weapon, you'll see that it has an additional mod slot. So once upgraded to legendary, it will have another additional one as well. So, so now we can go ahead and upgrade Jackie's pistol. Firstly to epic quality. And then next we can upgrade it to legendary quality. So once we've upgraded Jackie's pistol to legendary quality, it has 300 damage per second and delivers 115 to 141 damage per attack. It also has a reasonable attack speed for a pistol of 2.22. And as you guys can see, it has a 20% chance currently to apply the burn and it does, and it does around 100 thermal damage. Now, since we have upgraded this item to legendary quality and its unique effect says that it has an additional mod slot, we actually have one, two, three, four mod slots to fill here. So first I can eliminate the vertical recoil. Second, I can increase the chance to apply damage related status effects by 5%. I can also increase crit damage by an additional 8% and then I get an additional mod. I can increase the damage by five, for example. Obviously, there are legendary mods. You can have four legendary mods in here. I just don't have four at the moment. And you can also use a scope and a muzzle as well to further increase damage. Now, earlier in the video, I mentioned that it was still possible to get Jackie's pistol, even if you miss the dialogue option at the start of the game. And this is a bit of a weird one, to be honest, because I'm not so sure it's a bug. But I've had multiple people tell me this on Twitter. I've seen it on Reddit. And I also got an email confirming that this actually happens. You'll essentially just be walking around the south of the Watson area and Jackie's gun will randomly spawn in front of you and just drop to the ground. So you'll find it on the street pretty much. Now it's still unconfirmed if this is a bug because if you do send Jackie's body to Vic's clinic and then it gets taken by Arasaka, maybe along the way the gun drops out of the car and gets ditched on the floor and this is CDPR's way of still allowing you to get the weapon. So let me know how many of you have experienced that in the comments section below. But that is the only way to get the gun and I don't know if it's a bug or not. So how good is Jackie's pistol? Is it even worth bothering to collect? Well, firstly, yes, because this is Jackie's pistol, man. Jackie was an absolute bro. And therefore, having his pistol as a collectible item and just putting it in your weapons room is awesome. However, the gun itself, even though the gameplay you're seeing right now is on hard difficulty against enemies who are higher level than me, and I don't have any pistol perks, the gun itself just isn't very good compared to other pistols in the game that are much more powerful. The unique burning effect that this weapon has means that you can slowly whittle enemies down by setting them on fire, but in comparison to using another pistol where you can just headshot someone and, and instantly kill them, it's just never going to be as good. The option of an additional mod slot means yes, you can stack all the best legendary mods in the game on this pistol, which makes it very decent. It's just not the best. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section though. If you guys want to find more legendary weapons, check out the playlist below. And again, I will see you tomorrow for even more awesome weaponry. Have a fantastic day and goodbye. And drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you again for another two epic Cyberpunk 2077 weapons to find tomorrow.